What is up YouTube and all my fish keeping friends? How is everybody doing out there in fish tank land? I just wanna go ahead and take you guys along with me while I get my chores done today. I check off everything off my list. I wanna show you guys just what we got going on in the house and just what happens in a day in the fish house. Don't go anywhere. This is just a really nice trail that I like to walk in the morning. It's a good thing to do. It's seven, seven something in the morning right now. If it's a good day, I'm here and doing this right now. So there's a lot of new things that I wanna share with you guys today. Just updates of some of the tanks in my office and things going on around the house, stuff going on in the fish lab and in the basement. We're just gonna to try to get all of our chores done around the house. I know I have not been doing my part when it comes to water changes, so I wanna to try to help Amber out today with some of the water changes, get some painting done and all kinds of other stuff. So come along with me and we'll get this stuff done. Okay guys, I am down here in the basement, had breakfast, hot cup of coffee, some killer bacon, killer breakfast by Amber. She's an awesome chef. I'm in the laboratory. Uh, things are looking good. I've been doing stuff with the microscope. I have more stuff to do. Everything's looking pretty good. But right now the kitchen sink is pretty much uh, a paint cleaning station, a paint brush cleaning station because I'm actually working on the utility room. A little bit different than you would have you last saw them. Uh, this is all painted in here. I've got the bathroom really to finish. So most of this I did yesterday. Uh, this wall is done here as well. I moved the dryer back. Oh, that's the washer, sorry. I moved the washer back. I got the shelving unit out of here. That's in the full uh, grow out room, which I have, you know, we haven't shared that just yet. We'll get there soon enough. 20 longs, probably all the way across here and then across the top. But that's the plan, like an L shape shelf there. And then this is our shipping department. Uh, the stainless steel table that was here, I was using it temporarily. I was planning on giving it back. I put it in here in the laboratory just for a minute because I wanted to do some culture sample, you know, some stuff from the fish. I wanted to look at some uh, slime coats and fecal samples. And I just needed that table and it's better than the folding table, which is really wobbly. So I put it in here and she saw it. And at first I heard a huff and a puff, but she re she was looking at it. And I think she realized she, she likes it in here. And she said, as long as she can keep the buckets on the bottom shelf, that can stay in here. And we'll get another stainless steel shelf, you know, a, a, you know, even a, a larger shelf whatnot in here so you know for shipping so i need to go ahead and get the rest of this room painted the utility room shipping room uh whatnot this corner here is going to be for shrimp this is going to be a shrimp rack here that's the plan anyways at this point but i need to get in here and finish up everything in the bathroom it's just this back corner here that i really need to finish up and get everything done under there i got to fix up that there's a little bit of a water some water damage down there at the bottom i need to take care of that so we'll get that figured out it's gonna be really nice to have another utility kind of bathroom. Uh, we'll be able to put you know, towels and stuff here in the back and this shower will work out really well for doing water changes. We can have a python in here, just a place to wash your hands, even just for safety, something gets in your eyes, it's nice to have that. Uh, and a, a toilet, I'm gonna get that toilet running soon enough. Another thing I wanna do in this bathroom before I call this room finished, take this off of here and clean this light up so we can get a little bit more light in here. It's been up there for a while, there's all kinds of dust. I probably just need to clean the glass. And getting sweaty hot and sweaty this bathroom is getting green too <laughs> I'm almost finished in here I'm gonna do a second coat as well I'm gonna go ahead and add some silicone around the back of the sink just to make it watertight so water doesn't run down the wall I'm also gonna do that up in this corner here Oop, I already messed it up look at that so just in case we put something wet up here on the shelf the water's not gonna run behind there so quickly and down the wall. So while the paint is drying, there's something I want to share with you here in the laboratory. Uh, I'm not doing really any experiments right now. I have this one test though that was done on the 17th, which is still really good. It's completely good. It's completely sterile. There's nothing growing on it. Uh, so that really does make me excited. I know that this, uh, this flow hood is definitely pretty clean, clean enough to be doing tissue culture. I definitely look forward to sharing some of that with you guys as well as some more microscopy. Uh, there's a lot 
of microscopy to be done here in this house just with uh, you know checking fish into the house and out of the house in and out of quarantine I have some new gear and once it gets here I'll be able to actually use this camera and even do microscopy live with this Sony that I'm filming with right now from the basement live on YouTube so I'm looking forward to that once I get all this gear here in the mail oh boy look at that there's something here there is mail here I had an idea that something might be here. I didn't know for sure. Okay, I am super excited. This is probably what I think it is. If it is what I think it is, then I'm really excited. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, I'm really excited. Let me see if I can get this open with one hand. Tripod's downstairs. Right now, Amber and I are sharing a tripod because mine's kind of broken. I need to fix part of it. Let's see what's in here. These are just right here. These are my USB cables. There's a charging cable for everything that's micro usb i got three of those in there i know what that is but this is the stuff i'm really excited about i believe this here should actually be my 100 feet of cat 5 cable i'm so excited about the cat 5 cable that's going to get me all over the house with the camera that i have in my hand when i live stream and then inside of here okay, there we go i got it one-handed and we're inside let's see we have power cord here, the transformer, and then we have the transmitter and receiver. So these devices are going to let me go from uh, HDMI to CAT5 100 feet and then back to HDMI. So I'll be able to live stream from up here with Streamlabs OBS and I'll be able to be in the basement anywhere, the backyard, garden, anywhere in the house pretty much. I can go up to 164 feet with these guys. I had to take a little bit of a break from all of those paint fumes definitely getting in my head uh, but I want to give you guys a little peek of what's going on with my tanks here in my office they are definitely cycling uh, I want to finally share with you what fish I have what I put in here what I stocked in this 10 gallon tank here behind me behind all of my streams we decided to go ahead and put this goby we think it's a rock goby not too sure but you guys know I had this kind of set up and escaped pretty nice there's some diatoms on the glass that's the it's gonna happen with a new tank. I'm gonna do a video and share those under the microscope. That's just part of a tank cycling. I'm okay with that. But what I'm not happy with is what you see here in the front, like this little mound of sand. Uh, there he is right there. Look at this guy. I believe this is some kind of a rock goby or a, a loach goby, possibly. But we need to positively identify him for sure. Yeah, I think I'm gonna find him a new home he's definitely making a mess in here for sure he's created a little a little nest down here in this spot he's created a few little nests back here behind the rock down in here but you see the white stuff uh, that is the kitty litter so this tank wasn't really escaped for this situation I didn't we didn't know he was gonna do that much with the sand so in the end uh, it's just really not the right tank for him he's gonna pull all that kitty litter up and make a big mess with the kitty litter. He needs a tank with just sand, pretty much. Uh, but he is an interesting goby. Uh, I'm sure he's gonna get a little bit bigger, uh, and he's gonna, he's, he's the kind of fish that just wants to rescape the tank and do, you know, do what he wants with it. That's for sure. Uh, I think Jesse has one of these as well. Uh, Jesse from HC Aqua. I'm gonna try to hook him up with that. So that's that tank right now. And then the other tank that I wanna share with you is my other plant quarantine tank. It's also getting a little dirty. Both these tanks could use a water change for sure. They're cycling, I expect a little bit of this. But there's a little bit of green algae and some diatoms on the front of the glass. There's snails in here helping me a little bit. But you will see that there's all kinds of plants in here. I've got a little garden of boosted phalangia that's kind of, some stuff that's hanging on and some stuff that's doing good. And, you know, stuff that made it here, that I shipped here from the islands. It's coming around, and in the back I have all kinds of different stem plants that I'm trying to nurture. I have some different Ludwigias, I have some uh, Alternathera, I have, I believe, what's a Pogo stem and health variety, I'm not sure about that. And then we have some some different Rotellas in the background as well, and then the spider grass. So we're having some fun here in this tank, just trying to nurture some of these stem plants under this pretty decent light and then I have some other stuff in here I need to deal with I've got some stem some stems that came from some of these plants that I planted in here some of these Ludwigias that are in here in the front that you can't even really tell what they are yet they're gonna come back to life I just put them in here but the stems are in here 
the the big chunks of stem it's they're very much alive and I don't want to throw them away there's some nice roots I'm gonna go ahead and put these into a quarantine tank in the quarantine room and just let them come to life in there and we'll probably get some plants out of these stems okay I'm in the QT room here and all of these paint fumes are getting to me today uh, this tank here of the guppies this is a mixed guppy Endler hybrid kind of thing that I was messing with and uh, they finally made it up to the top shelf of this QT rack But I went ahead and put all the stem plants that I had in that uh, Deli cup. They don't look like much now. They look really rough in the back but It's just stems most of the leaves themselves have uh, melted off, but they're they're pretty healthy They're, they're a lot of this stuff is gonna come back. It's not really gonna uh, rot or anything like that But uh, most of that is uh, different retolas for the most part, we'll see what comes of that. I do have some sterogen ripens up here in the front. You can see the little pieces of green, they're kind of buried a little bit. Uh, these are just little tubers, just little runners. Uh, so there's no leaves there either. And we'll just, we'll wait for that to pop up. Uh, but these are really nice guppies. I've been having fun with them. I was working on that long tail that you see there on those males, those really long sword tails. Uh, that's kind of what I was going for and going for that dark bar that you get from the black bar endler that they were uh, bred with. So this is messing around. That was a fun project. I'm glad I could bring it here from the islands and I can have some fun with it. Maybe mix it with some other stuff here in the future as well. So before I get out of here and get back to painting, I just want to kind of, you know, show you how this is set up. Just give you an idea of what I kind of explained it before, but you see how uh, Amber has set this up and designed it in the bottom here. You've got bare bottom tanks, and that's like fish that come into QT. They're going to start out in a bare bottom tank, and you know that's because that's where the medications are going to be. The fish are going to, you know, the plants can't take all that, so it's going to start out like that, and then it can slowly make their way up into dirted and planted tanks that, uh, you know, have you know just a little bit more of a cycle and are not getting hit with medications because pretty much the fish have been in QT for at least a month. This is a really nice setup. I really think she did a good job with it. I like the design and uh, it's been working so far. So we're trying to clear out QT pretty much. And then they're going to make their way outside probably into a grow up tub or something like that. But yeah, these stem plants are going to be nice. I didn't want to throw these away. They look like they're nothing, but they're definitely going to come back. We'll get some shoots out of them. Maybe I'll do some tissue culture cloning with the shoots from this from them. I don't know. We'll see. I'm back down here in the basement. Can't take much more paint fumes. That's for sure. I'm calling it done. Uh, this back side here is is completed. This is going to be where the shrimp rack is going to go. Done painting in here. I'm done painting here. Cross my fingers anyways. This wall is done here. The whole bathroom is in the green as well. Did clean this glass that was up in here. I think it's a plastic, but I cleaned it up. And there's definitely more light in here as well, just by cleaning all the dust and stuff. This will make for a nice, a nice utility bathroom for the fish and fish keeping. I know we do have a sump stashed in the back here. All this utility water has to be pumped out to get back up to that point right there because that right there is where the waste goes out of the house. So anything lower than that has to be pumped out of this house with a sump pump. That is something to keep in mind when you have fish in fish tanks and whatnot in a fish room in a basement area. Okay, so back out here in the laboratory. I'm still really excited about what came in the mail. I'm so stoked about this little box here on the floor, this little black box on this end. It's a five volt power supply. I'm gonna get a battery, five volt battery, so that I don't have to worry about having AC voltage for that. And uh, this 100 foot Cat5, this uh, network cable, this is gonna be really nice for streaming all over the house with full high definition. Uh, and then inside of here, that was the other thing I wanna share with you guys real quick. Just a quick little update of everything going on in the live foods. Uh, we don't have a lot of heat going on down in the basement right now because we don't have any fish yet. Uh, so the live baby brine shrimp are still upstairs for the most part, what we're working with right now. But all the other live foods are under here. We have the banana worms, the micro worms, the grin, you know, not grindle worms yet but banana worms, micro worms, and walter worms. And then we also have the flightless fruit flies. And then on top of that, I added another power strip. So there was more power for everything else. It's gonna be in air pumps and things like that. And then I also added um, a digital timer here 
for any kind of lighting, like I have the lighting down here for any kind of tissue cultures that I might be working with just temporarily, but eventually down under here is gonna be other tanks with live foods. So this live food space underneath the stairs is really, it's really exciting to me because it's nice to be able to offer that uh, to the fish. I'm so stoked to be able to share with you content in high definition all over the house and especially down here in the lab. We're we'll doing some stuff in the future here with the microscope. You guys keep a lookout for all that stuff. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to all of you out there that like, comment, share on my content, all of my Patreons, my members, everybody that helps out in my chats, all my moderators. Thank you to all of you. Thank you so much. And remember guys, keep your tanks clean, your fish fed, and have fun.